Hey guys, today I want to take you on a tour of my setup of my solar generator system powering my house. It's the AC200 Max and the B300. So let's get started. All right, so I got this outlet from Home Depot. It's very easy to install. The PV wire comes out of it. In between the outlet and the exterior wall is a piece of conduit to give some protection from the wire and then it comes out of here and it goes into this wire molding that I also got from Home Depot. It's very easy to install. It has sticky tape on the back and you just pop it on your wall. It protects your cable. And then to give you an idea, it comes out right here. I picked up this plastic conduit that is cut down the center so you can easily put your cable in there. And it protects it, keeps it organized neat, and then it comes up right here to give you a better idea. And it goes right into the blue eddy in the solar input, just like that. Next thing I want to show you guys is this amazing cart that I got from Walmart. It is foldable, it could collapse, it's movable, it has brakes, it fits perfectly for the AC200 Max on that second shelf right there and it's awesome it barely fits but it's it fits guys on the bottom I had to put the blue the B300 backwards so that way the wire the big old cable can go directly into the 200 max um, but that's that's why you see the glow in the wall right there but it's it works awesome I love this thing I can move it around the entire room Right here I have the extension cable, goes underneath the bed in a wire molding, the same one that's gonna you're going to see right here, pops up right here. And this is what powers my house guys. I use this generator transfer switch, I, I use the first three breakers, A, B, C, and it's been doing wonderful, no issues with it. It's great, pick yourself one up. Over here guys I have this smart outlet before I had the B300 I used this outlet because at night um, I had problems with power consumption and around 10 p.m. I would get to 27 percent battery and I knew that that wasn't going to make it through the end of the night and into the morning so I picked that thing up and at midnight I would start to charge the B or uh, the AC200 max off of that smart outlet that outlet is on the grid so at midnight is when there's the cheapest rates off peak hours I turn on that smart outlet it fires up the brick charging up my blue eddy just enough to get by through the night until the morning when the sun turns on that's an option you guys could do but once I got the B300 I had no I no longer had those issues because when I wake up in the morning now I have 60% battery the lowest I've ever seen it get to with the B300 is 55%. So yeah, guys, um, it's doing amazing. Um, I love the B300 because it gives me a lot more flexibility with power. But if you are struggling, you guys do have that option of just kind of just using the the outlet. Right here, I have a janky old smartphone. I've installed TeamViewer Host and the Blue Eddy app on it. And this allows me to control my Blue Eddy from anywhere in the world, whether it be I'm at work, home, um, at my mother-in-law's, it doesn't matter. I can control the Blue Eddy from wherever I, I, I'm at. Um, it allows me to check up on it to see how much solar input I'm bringing in, to turn how much, how much electricity I'm using, how much battery is left, what it's doing. So let me give you an example, guys. I just logged in to the other phone using TeamViewer on my main phone and now I can open up the Blue Eddy app from wherever I am in the world and I can see everything that you could see on the app but not with Bluetooth with Wi-Fi so that's how I control my phone via remotely and it really works and it's awesome so let me give you guys an example of what the AC200 Max setup is powering in my house it is powering mostly everything that you see in this room except for the stove. The stove is gas, but the clock is electric and the wire goes that way. So that's why I'm not really powering it. On the other side of that wall is a washer machine and dryer that is also 
on the grid, but I power up this TV, the light, this other light right here, I power up these outlets, the Google Home Mini, the refrigerator, the hallway lights, three lights, different lights in the bathroom and the fan, the computer, gaming computer and the modem and the light in here and outlets, uh, two fans in the bedroom and another bathroom, lights in there, and then that other bedroom right there that you guys could see. So yeah guys, the AC200 Max has been doing awesome. Right now the fans just turned on and I'm gonna check this what we're pulling. Pulling about 194 watts. And the DC's turned on, the AC's on. So the fan is on right now, but you can't hear it. The cool thing about where I have this located is it's it's far away from where we kind of stay, and this door is really thick. So when we close this door, you can't hear the fans at all. Like it's like nothing. So we have the luxury of just kind of putting it in a room and setting it, forgetting about it, not really having to check up on it too much. So yeah, guys, this is the Blue Eddy AC200 Max and the B300. We have 920 watts of solar continuously coming into this thing, guys, by 11 a.m. This thing is already back to full. There's so much you guys could do with this. I hope you guys like this video. Like and subscribe for more. I thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Bye.